Well, hundreds of water rescues underway right now in North Carolina. Captain John Reed, commander of the Coast Guard sector in Charleston, joins us with the latest. Commander, thanks for taking the time out. Oh, thank you, Charles. Can you please I fill appreciate the opportunity. Yeah, fill us in on what's going on so far. Well, first of all, I'd like to uh, uh, just say that our thoughts and prayers are with our, 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 our friends and family in North Carolina as they're going through this day-long um, battering by uh, Hurricane uh, Florence. Um, that's not an easy situation, and uh, I know uh, from the uh, Coast Guard and the Greater Department of Homeland Security, uh, we're all in on, uh, on doing what we can to, uh, to assist the communities with life safety and, uh, and getting people to uh, uh, safe places. Can you describe some of the rescues already? Because a fair amount of people did not heed the, the warnings of officials, and, and we've already learned that several have found themselves in dicey situations. So, uh, Charles, we haven't uh, had any uh, deal with the rescues here in South Carolina yet. We are, uh, are repositioning assets as we speak based on the change in the weather forecast for our own area and uh, anticipated historic floods in the PD region of South Carolina. We've begun to reposition uh, those assets that we had moved out of the area uh, based on the forecasted Cat 2 or 3 storm, and we're moving them back now toward uh, the, the, uh, the northern coast of South Carolina to, uh, to help Horry County as well as wherever the state may need us. Commander, talk to us about the size of the force that you're deploying, uh, just so we understand the magnitude of it all. So we've got uh, teams, uh, adaptive force packages that uh, come from all over the Atlantic area, from uh, the Gulf, as well as uh, down in Miami, uh, that are bringing um, these um, shallow water um, uh, rescue teams that are going to be prepositioned and ready to respond with locals and uh, coordinated with volunteers and the county officials uh, to rescue people, uh, not unlike we did back in 2016 during Hurricane Matthew. Additionally, we've got air assets from as far away as Miami and Clearwater, Florida, moving up to Savannah, working with Coast Guard Air Station in Savannah uh, to move further up toward uh, Myrtle Beach area and uh, conduct some of those rescues and coordinate those with the uh, shallow water teams uh, on the ground. We just had one of the best meteorologists in the country uh, suggest uh, 24 inches and another 12, perhaps uh, making this. It could be, I would imagine, uh, one of the more extraordinary uh, challenges that you will face in your professional career. Uh, you know, how do you prepare for something like this? I understand logistically, but there's going to be a lot of emotions and, and, and a lot of people that you haven't worked with before. You know, Charles, that's, uh, it's tough. With, uh, we've been building the readiness of this group all week. Um, I've had uh, the ability to uh, request and receive uh, all kinds of um, partnerships, um, partner agencies, as well as our own specialized units uh, that have been uh, uh, repositioned to, to support uh, North Carolina and South Carolina here, uh, as well as um, the partnerships that we have with our, our DOD partners. Uh, state and locals. Uh, none of this could happen without the great partnerships that have been established over the uh, over the years, really. Right. And now we're just able to uh, use those uh, based on uh, exercises and plans uh, that we are, are able to put into action now. You know, it's uh, you, you hope you never have to use it, but it's great that you guys have prepared. Uh, Captain John Reed, God bless you and, and good luck uh, over the next couple of days. Uh, you're going to save a lot of lives and we, we want to thank you ahead of time. And, and let you know everyone appreciates what you're doing. Thank you for your service. Charles, thanks very much. If I could just impress one more thing upon sure. the, uh, the community out there as they, uh, the storm passes and they uh, rely on uh, communicating their distress either to the Coast Guard or to local authorities. Avoid the use of social media if, you, if at all possible. Use 911. That will consolidate those calls and help us direct the right kind of resources uh, to the scene. You got it, Captain Reed. Appreciate it. Thank you.